Hey, in my never-ending battle to try to get a handle on the rodent population around my homestead, in this episode we're going to try plaster and cocoa powder. Stay tuned. Hey folks, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I'm gonna try cocoa powder and plaster uh, to control rodents. And with this cocoa powder and plaster, I went and purchased a couple of extra items. I purchased some of these little storage containers because on the end, I'm gonna cut a little hole right here and put the lid on it that way. It protects the solution from getting wet because you know what happens to plaster? Well, let's test to see what happens to plaster. Seriously, let's see what happens to the plaster when it goes into the gut of the rat or the little mouse. I'm gonna take a little bit of plaster right here. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of water You can see how thickened it gets and how hard it gets. Well, that's going to stop their little guts up and present them or prevent them from uh, digesting any more food. So I got these little containers with the lids on them to protect them from the elements because they're going to set them out and around. And uh, I'm just going to take a scissors, poke a hole in the side, and trim a hole in one end so the little rodents can gain access to the contents of this. This is in lieu of using a cottage cheese container. So in this container right here, I'm going to add one quarter cup of plaster and then I'm going to add one tablespoon of cocoa powder to make it irresistible for them. It even smells like cocoa, so it should be in an attractant to help attract these little beasts. Just going to go ahead and pop the lid on that. And take a second container and fill it with water so the little uh, beasts, those ghastly little beasts, have water nearby to uh, get a drink from and start the process. And I'm going to place them where I know where I have a rodent problem. I do have a rodent infestation, mainly these rats. Let me show you. When I turn this over, watch them run. See? They've been running into that hole right there. So, I know where else I need to set some more traps with water. Right there.
and we'll put them in the barn, set them there, and then I'll set the trail cam up to capture the ga images of that ghastly beast. And then hopefully in a couple of days we'll revisit this and uh, check out that trail cam and see how it goes. It'll be a video second to you, but it'll be a couple of days to me. So we'll be right back with uh, footage of the video cam and see if um, that attracted any rodents. Okay, it is the next day and we got rain. Uh, yeah, we got rain on the homestead. Yay, we, it's been such a long dry spell and now hopefully this rain will help the firefighters get a handle on some of these major wildfires burning throughout the region. So, um, checking out the, um, those bait boxes coming up here this morning, uh, the one over by the um, tractor barn. I didn't catch anything in the live trap, but there's evidence of those little suckers eating out of the uh, plaster and cocoa uh, trap. Yeah. Also, I did put a bait box out behind the uh, turkey house in the area where the goose breeding pens are because there's a bunch of rats back there uh, as you can see from this video right here so those rats I got uh, I baited it and there's strong evidence right here that they ate it and with the rain they're gonna get water and hopefully it'll stop them up and kill those little suckers so now I'm gonna check the barn here I've got the pail of water here, and I've also got the pail of um, plaster with the cocoa powder. Now there is strong evidence that something has been in there. Don't know what, but I do have the trail cam right here. We're going to look at that. Okay, turn it on review. Let's see what we got here. Uh, replay four images. Ooh, yep, we got rodents. I'm gonna play this through. Oh, yep, there's a little rodent going over towards the. Yep, it's a mouse, not a rat. It's a mouse. That's me. Well, hopefully he had a nice little. Uh, feast and satisfied his sweet tooth or her sweet tooth. Nice. And let's see what number four looks like. There's only four images. Yeah. So we got uh, evidence that they are taking it and as I showed you earlier in the video what happens when the uh, rodents take those into the belly and add water to the plaster. Yeah, it, it hardens. Uh-huh. And it stops them up. That's, uh, that's what happens. So I'm very pleased at the outcome. Now if I can just find evidence of the dead little ghastly beasts, that'll be fine with me. Um, so that's it. Does plaster and cocoa mix work well it attract we can see where it attracts them and they're eating it and we saw the evidence when I added water to it and what it's going to do in their gut so we're going to assume uh, that yeah we're going to get rid of some of these uh, rodents but it's going to be a never-ending process because these things are in the environment our um, farm does attract them because I'm feeding livestock and they're attracted by the feed and also the warm environments to raise their young. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those bait, that bait stuff out and uh, replenish it as time goes on because I know now I got a good supply of plaster and cocoa. We're going to go ahead and use the plaster and cocoa. Now I did try baking soda and um, Flour, that seems to be out to work and I don't see any evidence of rats in my garden anymore so that's a plus anyway stay tuned to more adventures here on the homestead and giving other 
products a try at at least fly control and rodent control. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Please stay tuned to more videos. You can do that by subscribing and clicking that bell icon. Give us a thumbs up and also share our videos on your social media platforms. Leave a comment. Be safe. Always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye-bye now.